Hi guys and welcome back. So in this tutorial I'm gonna be teaching you how to make the uh, 3D object we have here a bit more uh, uh, stable when we're rotating it. For example, right here it jumps. It, it's pretty weird. And when you rotate it, it kind of doesn't feel right. It's like you're viewing it upside down right now. So I'm gonna change all that in this tutorial and it's gonna look like you're actually viewing it like a normal person. So, other than that, uh, I'm also going to change something else. Um, what I'm going to change first is where we are looking at. Um, right now we're looking at 5, 0 and 0. So this isn't actually where the, the square is located, so that might uh, help um, confuse the view a bit. The square is located at 0 to 2. The meaning that mean that the x and y values, the middle of the square, that will be 1, 1, and then 1.5 because the square is 3 higher. So now we have the middle of the uh, of the square as our viewpoint we're looking at towards. So now we are going to do so the um, the polygon is going to be drawn. Um, so it doesn't move at the screen. You can see right now it, it moves around. What I want is this middle uh, point, this point in the middle of the of the, uh, the of the of the cube. It, I need that to stay still, so it looks like we are focused on that. So what we need to do to do that? Um, first off, I'm actually going to change something here. Instead of having having this crate thing here, um, I'm going going to delete all this uh, and then just m write in the end here um, update polygon <coughs> and I'm just gonna give these uh, some uh, random numbers um, what let me see New double I'm just gonna write new double so yeah um now instead of we calling this pretty much the same function two times and we have to changing both each time we can just change this and it'll change it all. So I'm just gonna run it again to see it all good. It's all good. Yeah, it still works. So now instead of having having this 500, I'm going to actually get the precise uh, number that is in the middle of the screen. So we go to our main class here, where we set the uh, set the screen size. So I'm gonna copy this or cut this. Then I'm gonna make a dimension up here. Dimension screen size equals this. And then I'm gonna write screen size in here. Uh, I have to import this dimension thing. So now that works. I'm gonna call it, make this a static, so we can actually ac access it from our polygon object. Oops. So we go back here and we say uh, the middle of the X. Well, that's gonna be the screen. Oh, sorry. The DDD tutorial. Dot screen size screen size dot width divided by 2 that's the middle in the x and the middle in the y that's gonna be the height divided by 2 so now it's in the middle of the screen uh, what the other thing we needed to add was that it was focused on one point in the cube so I'm gonna add a value here I'll call it dx plus and dy plus I'm gonna make the values up here. Double dx equals uh, and double dy. So what I'm gonna set these two are the um, the calculated position of our viewpoint. So that way we'll get it um, all the other points uh, set according, so they are centered at the viewpoint. So I'm just gonna get these. And then instead of, of, of writing the x and y here, I'm going to write screen dot view f sorry view two 
then x just gonna do the same here one two so now we find the point on our screen that's the middle of the cube and then we set all the other um, places according actually I have to write 50 times this here as well and one last thing is we need to say minus oh yeah so that's all done um, now all the cube the cube will be centered at the middle I'm gonna show whoops Java exec exception let's see what that is null pointer mm, something's null mm, that's weird Find 33 right here Hmm. Could it be this? Change it to 500. Nope, it's not that. Hmm. Pretty weird. I'm just gonna ignore this and then delete these and see if it still comes up with an error. Hmm. That's really weird. So in the update polygon line 33. Kinda confused about this. Haven't changed anything in this calculate precision. Okay, so it's probably because I deleted what set what it stands up here in the create polygon. Um and this new double here. I'm going to write um New double, and then we're gonna write x dot length instead. That way, the the doubles will actually have a length instead of just being zero long. Gonna run it now. Still an error. Wow. Hmm. Not quite sure what this is. Something's null. Oh, I know, I think I know what it is. This needs to be moved up here. So that we call this, we make this dimension before we call this uh, constructor. Yeah, there it is. So now I'm gonna just gonna go back and do all the things I just deleted gonna make this appear again and then I'm gonna say dx plus ddd tutorial dot screen size dot get width divided by 2 and the same for the y just gonna add a plus there dy plus get width get height sorry divided by 2 so now it should be centered in the middle um, and as you can see if we put the mouse here it stays about the same position where the middle is doesn't really move that much and that is exactly what I wanted so great next thing I wanted to add was that um, you kind of looked at it from an op from an awkward angle. So what we need to do to change this is we need to go back into our, our calculations. So first off, I'm gonna add a new vector. This vector is going to call be called the rotation vector. Um, this pretty much decides wh how much we're gonna rotate the screen to compensate for that it's rotating itself basically. That way we can look at it from an 
normal view all the time. So rotation vector equals new vector. I'm just gonna set it to zero for now, but I'm gonna change it later. And then we need two more vectors. These are going to be um, some kind of abstract vectors. I can't really explain what they what they um, what they point towards or how how we're gonna use them, but I'm gonna make them. So weird vectors. I'm gonna call them. And they are equal to the uh, view vector, and then crossed with the rotation vector. I'm actually calling call this weird vector one and weird vector two. And this weird vector two is going to be the, the view vector crossed with the weird vector one. So now we're going to use these weird vectors in this. This is the function that um, gets it all into 2D so we can draw it on the screen. So instead of writing plane vectors, we're just going to write weird vectors, weird vector, So now all we need to do is actually set this rotation vector to something we can use. So I'm going to make a function called get rotation vector. Vector. Um, I'll delete this new. I'm going to make the function down here. So get vector get rotation vector it's gonna make a new vector, vector v equals new vector and then it's gonna return this vector mm. so yeah I've already made this function, this method, because it is uh, quite hard to remember and I couldn't really explain exactly what it did um, it would be too hard to understand so I'm gonna copy it in from here So yeah, here we go. Um, I'm going to have an argument input here. It's called be called the view from. Uh, sorry, double the array double view from and the double view two. And then I'm gonna in here in this vector I'm gonna write the x rotation, the y rotation. I'm gonna return that vector. And for the set, we're just gonna write zero because uh, we don't really want to lo be looking up into the sky. We just want to be looking at the right direction. So we need to input it up here. So view from and view to. Um, what's wrong? I need to make it static, right? So now what's happening in here is we are making too many doubles. X rotation and Y rotation. These are gonna be the the vector. Um, what's called the the vector X and Y uh, coordinates, and we're making these dx and dy. Dx is how far there is from the viewpoint to where we are, where we're looking from, from where to where we're looking to, and the same for the Y. So now using some some math and stuff, we need to figure out how how large a part of the uh, the difference from the y value yeah I'm, I'm not gonna <laughs> explain anymore this is already getting too complicated I'm just gonna say this is how we do it and now we should actually be having a 3d object that doesn't uh, rotate weirdly that we're looking at it from this, this side just gonna run it looks pretty good here just gonna return turn around it as you can see, it rotates fairly nicely. We are not moving in these set uh, set values, so that is why it's always from the top. So yeah, that's going to be it for this time. I'll see you guys next time. Not quite sure what I'm going to be doing there, but I'll figure it out.